Greetings tribe, how are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm here checking on my bitter leaf plants and I just got inspired to share this with you. First of all, I want you to guess how many of these I have in the garden, just guess. I will let you know how many we are all going to count at the end of this video. But these are bitter leaves and I got inspired to share maybe a little life lesson I have learned from growing bitter leaves and to tell you why I think you need to have bitter leaves in your garden. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Yaje and I am extremely passionate about wellness and gardening so i share videos on wellness and gardening on this channel i hope you consider subscribing and to you all my returning subscribers thank you ever so much for all the encouragement and the support every day almost actually several times a day is not almost several times a day i make a tour around the garden and just check on the plants to see how they're doing that way i can catch you know pests early i can catch diseases early and make an intervention your plants are just like little babies you need to take care of them so i was here checking on my bitter leaves plants and i thought i should share this with you what is the life lesson the life lesson is on the power of manifestation the power of manifestation and of the spoken word earlier this year i made a pronouncement i had a dream i had a vision i had a goal and then i made a pronouncement which just means i made it known by way of speaking that i wanted to become the biggest bitter leaves farmer in america i just said it don't know why but i wanted to become the biggest bitter leaves farmer in america they say that um, once you really want something the universe is going to conspire to give that thing to you I think the universe is still working to give this to me but so far that vision that dream that word is manifesting let me tell you i have never been able to get bitter leaves to grow from seeds but after i made that pronouncement and then i nursed my bitter leaves this year every single one of those seeds that i wasn't even sure that they were seeds because i was asking my mom like these things look like feathers she said yeah they are seeds and then I put them in a container, every single one of them sprouted, every single one. Now I have all of these bitter leaves. I didn't know what to do. I tried to get some to other gardens across America. I just got tired because it's a lot of delays in the postal system right now. So they get bad and it's a lot of hassle packaging these things to, to mail out to people. So I got tired and then they kept growing and I was like, oh my God, I really don't want them to go bad. So I did a little search around like to look for mini um, nursing, nursery, nursery bags, and then transplant these things into these mini nursery bags, which they quickly became too small for the bitter leaves. So I had to buy these containers and transplant the bitter leaves in these containers. From here, it needs to go to the ground. And now I have so many of them. Again, I want you to guess because we're going to count at the end of this video that I don't know what to do with them. My dream is still to become the biggest bitter leaves farmer in America. Um, so help me. If you know I'm in Houston, Zone 9, I'm looking for a community garden, an allotment, a free backyard, a backyard for leaves, a farm somewhere to take my bitter leaves plants to and to grow them. I'm also open to selling these. If you can stop by and pick them up, that will be wonderful. So that is a life lesson. Your vision, your dreams can truly come to pass if you speak them. There is power in the spoken word, power of manifestation. I'm still believing that I will be the biggest bitter leaves farmer in America. Still looking for a farm. Maybe somebody watching this can hook me up. That's what I'm looking for. Now, why I think everybody needs to have a bitter leaf plant in their backyard i truly think that bitter leaves are underappreciated as a vegetable okay not only do bitter leaves have culinary uses you can use it to make several dishes ndole they 
African with the Cameroonian dole, which is the bitter leaves in this peanut paste sauce, which is so good. You can just cook it like spinach, which when we cook something like spinach in Cameroon or Africa, it just means you fry some uh, onions, tomatoes, and then you put the bitter leaves in there like that with some njanga, which is powdered shrimp, and eat with something starchy or eat with fufu. Or you can cook it the traditional ancestral country way which would just be you know cook it with some protein and put palm oil in there so many ways to cook your bitter leaves right it's versatile that's my point not only do bitter leaves have um, culinary uses they have medicinal uses as well it is a medicinal plant it helps to um, manage for diabetics to manage blood glucose there's studies on that and several other um, health benefits which I will document in a separate video but bitter leaves have culinary uses and medicinal uses another reason why I think everybody needs to have a bitter leaf plant or plants growing in their garden is that it is resistant to pests and um, diseases because it is bitter in nature i think the fact that it is bitter keeps some of the diseases that you might struggle with growing things like greens or your garden huckleberry they don't easily attack the bitter leaves because it is bitter so you can just you know put it in the ground and not have to do too much to have it grow another reason is that bitter leaves are like perennials unlike something like the garden huckleberry that goes through one cycle and that's it once you have your bitter leaves you can have it forever and forever and it is so weather tolerant we had an epic freeze earlier in houston this year my bitter leaves survived that epic freeze the roots the roots stayed in the ground and once it was warm again they just came right up so it is something that you know you really should consider having in your backyard if you're growing African vegetables for all of these reasons that I have mentioned. Now, like I said, I have so many bitter leaves plants. I'm trying to find a place to put the bitter leaves. So if you're watching me, you're in the Houston area, you want some bitter leaves for your garden, you know where to find. Stop by. Okay, stop by and buy some bitter leaves. If you know an allotment, a free garden, a free backyard, a backyard to lease, I am open to um, paying for space to grow my bitter leaves to realize this my dream of becoming the biggest uh, bitter leaves farmer. So let's go count the bitter leaves plants that I have in the garden. Thank you. There are mosquitoes. Look, these are all bitter leaves. <laughs> 126. Let's count. 127, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 41, 72, 30, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 99, 200, 200 bitter leaves. Yeah. If you guessed 200, that will be correct. At least 200 of these bitter leaf seedlings in little containers. I'm not counting the mature plants that I have in the garden already. So you can see that this is an SOS. I really need someone to help me find a place to put all of these bitter leaves. Um, I'm looking for a community garden, an allotment, a farm to lease, a free backyard, a backyard to lease, anything. I would hate for these bitter leaves to go to waste. And if you are in the Houston area and need some bitter leaves, I would love to have you um, plant some. So stop by and pay chicken change to get some of these very yummy resistant plants in your garden i thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up it's important if you have not yet subscribed i hope you consider subscribing i try to add as much value as i can to you in exchange for your time let's continue to build the tribe together grow health together and definitely consider growing a garden it's part of self-care Catch you in my next one. Bye.